Hey guys, Rick for Sonus here, back in our video. So, a few days ago, we got a suggestion on the channel to make a drop like Blue Claire and Otoro. So, both artists became famous over the past year with quite a new style, so they blew up with songs like these. So their style consists of the 808 bass, quite short techy drums, and most important, those typical house steps. So I started the track with finding classic house loops on Splice. So the main goal with searching for those loops is to not really uh, pay too much attention to the melody, but to really focus on the tonality of the step, because we're gonna cut up the loops, so... So I came across these ones, first of all this one. This one. And this one. So I dropped them all in FS Studio. They're gonna serve a different purpose, so... So we're gonna use this one as a step when the first kick hits. It's quite an energetic step, so... Let's cut it up. So we're gonna work in F minor, the root note of this one. So I already tuned them in the right key. So this one's one down. And this one's three up. So first of all we're gonna cut out the step. Then we're gonna make a melody with this one. So let's cut it up. Remove this one. And let's make a melody with it. So first of all we need to find a placement of the notes. It's gonna be just like this. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna make the second one unique. And just push it out one semitone. So we're gonna hit a dissonant note, sounding like this, which is quite dope. Then we're gonna duplicate it, remove the step at the second part, and we're only gonna play this one at the end. So right now it sounds like this. Well, I only want this part, just as an ambient sound to fill it up some more, make it a bit more interesting, so... So now we're gonna mix it. So first the step. It's gonna be quite basic mixing with the distortion to make it a bit more energetic. Cut out the lows to make room for the bass line. And of course the sidechain. So now we're gonna mix the other step. We added, the, we added distortion as well. EQing to get rid of the low ends. The stereo imager to open up the stereo field. To really push it to the sides. Reverb to put it in a room. And to finish it off, we got a sidechain. So a lot of these tracks have automations of the reverb and delay as well to make it way more interesting. So I added a delay plug into it. Giving this effect with the wet all the way up. The output just slightly dragged back. So then I create an automation clip. And only have it playing when the last step is playing. To give it some kind of a fade out effect. Sounding like this. So then add a reverb as well. We're gonna automate it as well. So with the wet all the way up, decay all the way up. To have a constant reverb signal. So I made this reverb automation. It's just an automation of the mix level because we have the constant reverb signal. So we're gonna open it up right here. So give it a fade in effect. Which adds way more energy to it. So we're gonna do the same with the step. I added the same reverb to it with the same animation. But I placed it before the distortion so we got quite a heavy reverb going on, sounding like this. So altogether, all the steps sounds like this. So another important part of these tracks is to have a chop that vocal. So we're gonna select the vocal from the pack and chop it up. Let me get back to the rhythm, champion sound in the club like what? We're using this one. 
So it's already in F minor. So I think we're gonna use this part. Let me get back. Place it right here. Back to the rhythm. This part as well. We're gonna place that one right here. Champions home in the club like what? Club like what? And this part. So that one gonna be placed right here, and this one gonna repeat. So so the focus sounds like this. Let me get back to the rhythm. Now we're gonna mix it. So. First of all, I drag the formant down to minus four and put up the drive to give a bit more of the deep house effect, sounding like this. Let me get back to the rhythm. Then I added a reverb to it just to put it more in the back end of the mix. Let me get back to the rhythm. Let me. A low cut. Let me get. Delay. Let me get. And of course, a side chain. Let me get. So that's it for the vocal. So now we're gonna work on the bass line. So let's select the preset from the pack. It's gonna be quite a simple 808 bass line. So we'll be using this preset. Then let's make the melody. We're gonna work on F minor. So it's gonna be quite a simple melody to really just support the house steps. So this is gonna be the first part. Duplicate it and make a little variation to the second. By going up to the third notes. So it sounds like this. Now we're gonna mix it. So I just added this distortion. And compression to bring out a little bit more of the punch of the bass. And of course the side chain. So most of the time the bass consists of two layers with a sub bass which is 808 focus and a top bass so I really like to layer it with a down sampled bass. So I got this preset from the dirty tag pack. This is quite dope but we're only gonna use the top end, the down sampled one. So just duplicate the notes and get rid of the low end. So together the bass sounds like this. So that's it for the bass. Now we're gonna dive in the drums. So the drums are quite short and a little bit 808 focused, kind of hip hop ish. So first we're gonna make the basic rhythm. We'll be using these samples. So I made this simple drum pattern with it, with a kick. Clap, open it, and then layer it head to add some more groove to it. So that's quite dope, but the drums are, but the drums need to be way more bouncy. So we're gonna add a lot, so we're gonna add a lot of groove elements to it, starting with a closed head. So we got this sample from the pack, and place it right before the open head, sounding like this. Which already gives more bounce to it, but we're gonna add some more to it. We're gonna add this percussion sound. I pan it to the right. And place it right at the end of the bar for two times. It sounds like this. And then to finish it off, I added this thumb sound. And place it right here. Sounding like this. So that's it for the main drums, but we're gonna add a variation to it, to the second part of the drop to keep it interesting. So first of all, I fix the transition with a snare, fill, crashes, I fix. And I remove the low end at this part, so. Then I added a simple tambourine loop and a right. All together sounding like this.
so we're almost there. Sounds quite dope yet, but we need to fit it up some more. So we're gonna add some more synths to it. So first of all, I added this laser sound from the pack. And this saw step. It's quite a ravey one. Super dope. So I placed the laser just around here and then right after the saw hits. Just some random things to fill it up some more, make it more interesting because otherwise it will get too repetitive. So besides that, I added another serum. So we'll be picking a preset from the pack. We'll be using this one. Which is a percussive LFO lead. We got a mod wheel on the speed. So first it's gonna play quite fast. And then slow it down. So, so I made animation sounding like this, which is opening up halfway to reduce the speed. Which gives a super dope effect. So let's drop in the other one as well. Sounding like this. So we covered all the elements of the drop. Now we need to arrange it, just duplicate all the parts. And we have our drop ready. So I think it turned out really dope. We quite nailed the style. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. Besides that, if you like the video, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. The final result will sound like this. And I'll see you in the next videos.